Hi everyone, this is Mike Brennan here at the National Hurricane Center. It's about 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time on Thursday, November 14th. Coming on with the latest this afternoon on what is now Tropical Storm Sarah, uh, located just along the northeastern coast of Honduras. Uh, maximum sustained winds based on data from the Air Force Reserve Hurricane Hunter aircraft now up to about 40 miles per hour uh, earlier this afternoon when we uh, upgraded the system to a tropical storm. The center is currently about 65 miles to the north-northwest of the border of Nicaragua and Honduras, moving off to the west at 10 miles per hour. But the main impact is going to be the extremely heavy rainfall and the potential for catastrophic flash flooding across much of northern Honduras here over the next two to three days. You can see the expansive cloud cover, shower and thunderstorm activity already affecting uh, much of Honduras and spreading westward towards the uh, Yucatan Peninsula, Belize, uh, and heavy rainfall also affecting portions of Nicaragua, El Salvador, and Guatemala. So uh, let's look at the forecast overall here. We have Sarah, the center here again, uh, moving west at about 10 miles per hour. Maximum sustained winds about 40 miles per hour. You can see the forecast here over the next couple of days. Here we get to uh, 1 p.m. Sunday afternoon. The system is still out here in the Gulf of Honduras, uh, just to the east of the uh, coast of Belize. So we're expecting the center to basically hug the coast of northern Honduras here over the next you know, two to three days. Tropical storm warnings in effect all the way from the Nicaragua-Honduras border over to Punta Sal and for the Bay Islands of Honduras as well here everywhere you see in blue. Tropical storm watch in effect for extreme northeastern portions of Nicaragua. But again, that's where we're expecting those tropical storm conditions uh, beginning essentially now and continuing actually through the next several days as uh, Sarah is expected to remain a tropical storm gradually strengthening, especially if the system remains offshore in this region here of the Gulf of Honduras. Uh, longer term, we are now expecting the system to weaken pretty dramatically as it moves over the Yucatan Peninsula from Sunday into Monday, weakening to a tropical depression. And now indications are the system is likely going to dissipate either over the Yucatan Peninsula or before it moves into the Gulf of Mexico next week. So let's look at that rainfall threat again. This is a rainfall, heavy rainfall from tropical storms and hurricanes has historically been the largest killer in much of the Caribbean and in Central America. Uh, here in northern Honduras, we're expecting, you know, generally widespread rainfall totals of 10 to 20 inches. That's 250 to 500 millimeters. Isolated totals as much as 30 inches or 750 millimeters. That rainfall has the potential to cause catastrophic flash flooding and landslides over much of northern Honduras. But you can see there's a much broader rainfall threat that extends for portions of the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico through Belize, portions of Guatemala, the rest of Honduras, and northern portions of Nicaragua. We're expecting to see widespread 5 to 10 inch rainfall totals, isolated amounts as high as 15 inches. Again, with uh, Sarah's very slow motion, this heavy rainfall is going to play out over the next three to four days. So again, multiple days of very dangerous conditions here over Central America. Residents in these areas should follow advice given by their local officials and look for any products and warnings from their local National Meteorological Service. Uh, let's again focus on the key messages here for Sarah. Uh, Again, heavy rainfall is going to be the biggest concern, potential for catastrophic, life-threatening flash flooding and mudslides over portions of northern Honduras. Uh, elsewhere across much of the rest of Central America, including portions of Belize, El Salvador, eastern Guatemala, the Mexican state of Quintana Roo, western Nicaragua, heavy rainfall will cause significant and life-threatening flash flooding and mudslides. Tropical storm conditions are expected within that tropical storm warning area along the coast of Honduras uh, and including the adjacent Bay Islands. And uh, the system is forecast to approach Belize and the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico late this weekend, where there is a risk of strong winds. We could see a tropical storm conditions in those areas, in addition to the heavy rainfall there. Residents there should monitor the latest forecast updates. And a reminder for those in the uh, in Central America and the Caribbean speaking Spanish on hurricanes.gov, we have Spanish language translations of all of our public products, including the key messages, the public advisory, the tropical cyclone discussion. You can find all that information at hurricanes.gov, as well as the latest information on Sarah throughout the event. Again, for those in Central America, you want to uh, look for products from your National Meteorological Service. And again, uh, in the United States, for more information on your local weather, you can get that at weather.gov. We'll be back with more on Sarah throughout the event. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Brennan at the National Hurricane Center.